with fog as well, so you want to slow down. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, we'll check back in with you at 726. Okay. And I had the wonderful opportunity yesterday to talk to some kids, fourth graders to be exact, about weather. The entire fourth grade at Bryant Elementary was in the gym. We were talking weather, weather safety. They had some tough questions, those kids, but we definitely had a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys having me out there. Can't wait to be back in that area. Just is such a fun crew there. And the teachers, wonderful. Thank you for having me. And the kids, one of the questions they were asking is, why did we not have a snow day yet? Today, not happening, happening at all, kids. Temperatures into the upper 30s. It is just too warm for that to happen. Plus, we're drying out today, which I know a lot of people are happy about. Temperatures today in the upper 30s for the bus ride to school, close to the 60s by the time the bus gets you home. Uh, something really cool also that happened yesterday in the weather world was the sleep. It was cool because it didn't cause any issues on the roadways. And how this happens is we had a warm layer of shallow air kind of elevated. So whenever we have that snow that falls, it melts. And then those temperatures at the surface very close to 32, but not quite there or cooler than that. So we get the sleet that bounces off of the ground. It was kind of loud yesterday. Not only that, but the thunder. Did anybody notice it was a lot louder than normal? That's because of this elevated warm layer. Thunder or uh, sound actually travels at different speeds depending on the temperature. So whenever you have an inversion like this, it makes it sound a lot louder than what it normally does. So if anybody asks you, was the thunder loud yesterday? Just say, yeah, it was because of the temperature inversion. You'll sound really cool. Temperatures are going to be above freezing for the rest of the day, but check out the fog that we're going to be dealing with. Clinton down to less than half a mile of visibility this morning has to do with a lot of the water still on the ground. Temperatures cool down to the dew point, so we are seeing that fog forming near Clinton and near Russellville. Russellville actually seeing improving conditions now, but this is why we've had so much rain this year already close to eight and a half inches in Little Rock specifically. That does change across the state, but still well over the normal of 5.94 that we see around this time. The heavy rain has pushed east and out of the area, but still seeing some pockets of light showers south of I-30 near Sheridan. So we could still be see dealing with some very light rain this morning. Not going to be something that we see all day. This will clear out in a couple of hours, and then we'll see the general clearing. This rain continues to push to the east. The winter weather advisories continue into Missouri, completely out of Arkansas. We'll see that cloud cover clear by the afternoon with temperatures into the mid 30s. This is around four this afternoon and then tonight we see the clouds come back. Temperatures drop into the mid to low 30s. A few of us could be seeing below freezing temps by tomorrow morning, but it does warm to above freezing. By the time this happens, rain returns late in the afternoon and into the evening for central and eastern Arkansas. At times it will be heavy and that rain. Once it gets here, it stays through Thursday night through the day Friday and Saturday. Now Saturday is a new system that comes in. It's going to amplify the chance to see some thunderstorms. We're talking the potential for severe weather on Saturday, so definitely want to be weather aware. And as far as the rain goes, we could see an additional two to three inches of rain between now and Saturday across central Arkansas. The more north and west you are, the less amounts you see, the more east you are, the higher rain totals you'll see. And I'll post that one on social media so you can take a closer look at 57 for the high today, 49 degrees. On Thursday, rain chances really ramping up Thursday night into Friday and then again on Saturday. Check out the high temperature Saturday 70 degrees. That's the reason we're going to be looking for the potential for severe weather. It'll be very spring like we cool back down into the 50s and dry weather by Sunday.